Hello everyone and welcome back. Every day millions of people visit the internet in search of something like music, information, news and so on. Most of the time they come across a few terms that confuse them such as internet, intranet and extranet. One of the most obvious reasons for this video is the difference between them. These terms are often misunderstood and I'm gonna explain them in a very simple way so everyone could understand. Let's start with the internet. If you are watching this video, you already know what the internet is, right? Well, at its most basic level, we use internet to find information, send emails, upload files, download programs, stream content, and much more. Let's put it in a more simple way. Internet is a worldwide system of interconnected computer networks in which people share information, communicate with each other, get answers to almost any questions in moments, no matter where they are in the world. Let's go a little more deeper into it. Internet is a public network and open to everyone whoever has access to it. It's a network of networks that provides a range of services through internet protocols such as HTTP, TCP IP and so on. Approximately 5 billion people are more than half of the world's population now have access to the internet. Most of us rely on the internet. One of the main reasons, it really helps businesses to stay connected and productive. And now sometimes internet is often mistaken for World Wide Web. However, they are quite different from each other. Internet is a global connection of networks. While the web is a collection of information that can be accessed using the internet. In other words, Internet is the infrastructure and web is a service on top of it. Now intranet. Intra means inside. It's an internal secure private network built within an organization using internet standards that allow employees of an organization to share and gain access to corporate information. The main difference between internet and intranet is that internet is public. That means anyone can access it while intranet is private meaning that only authorized people can use it. Basically, intranet is part of the internet and it is different from the internet in such a way that it doesn't allow public access to the private server because it uses strong security features like firewall that prevents unauthorized persons such as hackers from accessing the network. That's why it is the most restricted network. Okay, so intranet makes it easy for everyone inside a company to communicate with each other regarding company's policies, reports, meetings, performance and so on. The main purpose of intranet is to simplify day-to-day -day work that leads to higher productivity and lower frustration levels. Just remember, intranet is a local network that only people within the organization can access. For example, if a university has developed an intranet, only the people who work inside the university can access it. Now extranet. Extra means outside. It's a subsection of intranet where not only insiders but also outsiders such as vendors, partners, suppliers and customers can access information hosted on a company's intranet if they have permission. Just like intranet, it is also controlled by private network. In simple words, intranet is for employees and extranet is for external stakeholders. Only employees of the organization and external members with login details can have access. Extranet has also security features like firewalls, VPNs and password protected credentials to prevent unauthorized access to the private network. Basically, extranet is set up so that employees and customers can connect to the private network and communicate with each other. Let's take the previous example of university. Let's say a staff member wants to access the extranet from his home. So what happens in this case? He gets the username and password from the administrator and by putting the information, he gets access to the university's extranet. Here is another example, a company like McDonald has opened its branch in a different city. So in order to communicate, new branch needs login details to access the extranet. 
once they get login details from the admin they can start communication same like these vendors suppliers partners and customers can access the network all right so this brings me to the end of my video i hope this will help you thanks for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button